I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits, continuity, and derivatives. In this video, we'll try to understand how to find limit of the function x to the power of 5 minus 1 divided by x cubed minus 1 when x approaches 1. Now, if I substitute 1 here, I get what? I get 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 which is of the form 0 over 0, right? So when you get that form, then it is an indeterminate and it clearly signifies that x minus 1 is a factor of both numerator and denominator. Now the idea is to cancel out that common factor and then try the limit, right? That's the whole concept. Well, some of you can apply the L'Hopital's rule and find the direct answer, right? So that is also possible. So in those who know, or for those who have already covered L'Hopital's rule, you could do it that way. So using the rule, it is very simple. So we can use the rule, which is uh, when we have an indeterminate, like we have in this particular case, in that case, the limit is same as the limit for derivatives of the numerator and denominator, right? So, using L'Hopital's rule, we can write limit x approaches 1 for x to the power of 5 minus 1 over x cubed minus 1 as same as limit x approaches 1 for the derivatives. Now, derivative of 5 will be 5x to the power of 4 and derivative of denominator will be 3x squared. Now that gives you a uh, limit x approaches 1 of 5 over 3 and that gives you x squared. Now if I substitute 1 here, I get the value 5 over 3, right? So 5 over 3 is the limit of this function using L'Hopital's rule. Now most of my students in uh, at present haven't learned L'Hopital's rule. So for them, we'll have to do a different method. So here is second method for us. So we'll call this as a standard method or the second method. As you have seen, L'Hopital's rule is very efficient, right? Especially for such questions. Now, as I was saying, there is a common factor. So we could actually uh, find uh, the other term, that is to say, let us divide x to the power of 5 minus 1 by x minus 1, right? So, so let's divide this by x minus 1. Now, since there are missing terms in between, it's a good idea to write them with placeholders. So we have 0x to the power of 4 plus 0x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x and we have a term minus 1. Clear? So when we divide, we can divide by x to the power of 4 first. We get x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4, sorry, 5, right? Multiplying with x. So that gives us x to the power of 4 and bringing down 0x cubed. Now we can multiply by x cubed, so we get x to the power of 4 minus x cubed. And when you take away, you get x cubed here plus 0x squared. Multiply by x squared, you get x cubed plus rather minus x squared. When you take away, it becomes x squared. Bring down 0x. So multiply by x now, so we get x squared minus x, so that gives you x minus 1. And finally, plus 1 will give us x minus 1 as expected, remainder is 0. So similarly, you can also divide x cubed minus 1 and write down in the factored form, correct? So, so from here, it is very clear that x to the power of 5 minus 1 is basically equal to x minus 1 times all this, which is x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1, right? Now, if you do the same thing for x cubed minus 1, it could be written as 
x minus 1 times x square plus oh sorry plus x plus 1 correct so that's what you get for the denominator and therefore using these expansions for our term we can rewrite the limit and we can write this as limit x approaches 1 for x to the power of 5 minus 1 over x cubed minus 1 should be equal to limit x approaches 1 for that is the numerator x minus 1 times x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x square plus x plus 1 right divided by x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1 correct now clearly the term x minus 1 cancels now we can write this as limit x approaches 1 numerator being x to the power of 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 and denominator being x square plus x plus 1 now if I substitute 1 what do I get I get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 right we got 5 terms 1 2 3 4 5 5 ones here and 3 in the denominator so we have our answer which is 5 over 3 so the limit indeed is 5 over 3 and that is how we could actually solve this question now in one of our, one of our videos we have done this using values right making table of values that could be our method number three right so we can have the third method where we could make a table of values and approach one you can find the values for this limit uh, approaching from let us say 1.1 to 1.01 to 1.001 correct so that is from the right side and from the left side you can say 0 0.9 0 0.99 and 0 0.999 you will see that the value approached is 5 over 3 so that could be third method of solving the same question how i hope you understand and appreciate how we can solve the limits question like this right so you could use the uh, Laputa's rule since it is an indeterminate of the form 0 over 0 you could factor rather expand in this case right and cancel out the common factors and then get the limit or you could approach x from both sides left side and right side closer and closer to 1 and get your answer right so the answer is 5 over 3 so I hope it helps Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.